Welcome to Trains. In this lesson I'm learning where fractions live among whole numbers. Now over here I have a picture of a large train carriage, believe it or not, and underneath here I've got some smaller train carriages. Now if I move these smaller train carriages up underneath this large train carriage, we're going to be able to work out the size of these smaller train carriages and how many small carriages it takes to make one of these larger ones. So if we move this one up to there, that's two, that's three, four, five. So if it takes five of these small carriages to make one large train carriage, we can say that one of these is one fifth of this big train carriage. Now we also know that five of these fifths is equal to a whole, so we can also say five lots of or groups of one fifth, which is these here, is equal to five fifths, one, two, three, four, five, or one whole. So five fifths or one whole, they're the same thing. Let's see what happens if I have a few more of these uh, small train carriages. So now I've got six, seven, eight small train carriages. Now we know that each of these small train carriages is a fifth, so if I've got eight of them, I must have eight fifths, and I can work that out because 8 lots of 1 fifth equals 8 fifths. Now if I go back up here and look at my picture, I can see that, I'll just write it up here again, that 8 fifths is the same as one whole, which takes us down through there, and these three fifths. So eight fifths is the same as, or I can write or, one whole, which we've got here, and three fifths. So these two fractions here are actually the same. They've got different names. This type of fraction is called a, a mixed fraction, which is made up of wholes and a fraction, and this one over here is called an M proper fraction and it's improper because the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Let's try another question. Uh, let's go to a different train yard. At a different train yard their big carriages look like that and their smaller carriages look like this. So just like last time, if I move these smaller carriages up underneath, I'll be able to work out the size of these smaller carriages. So move this one up. That's two. And that's three. So, that you, so you can see that three of these carriages makes one whole carriage. So I know that each of these carriages down here are one third of this carriage. Or I could write that it takes three of these thirds to make one whole, which I can write as uh, three thirds or one whole. You can see here are my three thirds and here are my one whole and they're exactly the same. Let's imagine for a minute that a lot more of these little small carriages, these thirds, pulled into the station. You can see now that I've got a lot more carriages. In fact, I've got 10 lots of these third carriages, which is the same as 10 thirds. Now that's what this looks like as an improper fraction, like we talked about earlier. Let's see if we can change that to see what it looks like as a mixed fraction as well. Well, I know it's going to be more than one whole, but let's use these big carriages here to work out exactly how many it's going to be. So if I move this along, now I've got two holes, and I can move one more along, and there I've got three holes. So you can see that my 
10 carriages uh, are a little bit more than three holes. In fact, I can see that 10 thirds is exactly the same as 1, 2, 3 holes and this 1 third. Let's see if we could place these numbers on a number line. I'll draw my beautiful number line down here. 0, 1, whoops, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Well, we worked out earlier that 3 thirds is the same as 1 whole, so I could write 3 thirds and 1 whole. That'd fit, uh, fit at the same point on the number line. And if I go back up a little bit, you can see with my carriages here that 6 thirds is the same as 2 holes. So I can write 6 thirds, that is the same as 2 holes. And if I go back up again, you can see that 3 more thirds or 9 thirds is the same as 3 holes. So 4 holes must be the same as 12 thirds. Now let's see if we can work out where uh, these amounts fit on the number line. Let's start with this. 3 and 1 third. Well, I know it's going to be slightly over 3 holes because I can see that here, and it's just going to be 1 third bigger than that. So if I split this distance into thirds, I could say that's 1 third, that's 2 thirds, and that would be 3 thirds or another hole. So 3 and 1 third must fit here because it's 3 holes and 1 more third. So this would be 3 holes and 2 thirds, and that would be 3 holes and 3 thirds, which we know is the same as 4. Now let's just double check that by checking that our uh, improper fraction fits at the same point on the number line. Well if that's 9 thirds, this point here must be 10 thirds, which means that one would be 11 thirds, and perfect, we're up to 12 thirds here. So now we've just worked out where a mixed fraction and an improper fraction fit on a number line. I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more help, check out teachertools.co.nz.